Good evening, good evening everyone on the EU server, we are following the Challengers Tournament uh, Finals, the uh, final stage. Uh, bracket first round, so there will be an upper bracket and lower bracket first round tonight. Uh, the clans we are following tonight, uh, the, the clans that are in the final stage of the Challengers Tournament are A1A1, Chiridus Rep 3 and TTT. I'm just a bit too. I'm, bit, I'm just a bit too lazy to, you know, uh, change the graphic of this. But um, this is basically the same format as you saw back in the spring season. So, uh, group stage it will be a best of five series, and the final stage, the first rounds, will be the best of five series. With the best of seven um, um, played in the bracket finals and grand finals, will be in the best of nine. The format is a double elimination knockout stage for both stages with the bracket seeded according to the cup leaderboard rating uh, ranking group one we uh, group one uh, will be as follows group two as follows uh, i don't think that will be too important for now group stage grand final decides the placing of the first and second ranked teams and and it's stated below Tonight, um, upper bracket first round maps would be Port Bay, Vinots and New Bay, with the lower bracket first round maps being Canal, Hel Hellas and Alpenstadt. Um, for those of you, you might notice that I'm following the professional tournament, here is the schedule. Um, the Challengers tournament, tournament will end tomorrow and that will be covered by Rolling Swamp. Um, the professional tournament will be held until the 10th of October and then there will be a huge break until the Blitz Cup where it's going to be in November on every Thursday and Friday. The prize pool for each region is 50,000 US dollars, that's a lot of money. Uh, upper bracket first round will be held in around 30 minutes and the lower bracket first round will be at 50 past. Uh, for those of you who want to donate to the stream, here are the links. Um, I would highly appreciate if you can donate to my streams and that would help me. Uh, that's kind of a reward for me doing a lot of um, stuff such as the power rating and also a pre a prediction box which uh, have spent a lot of time investing and building them up. Um, I forgot to include the predictions. Um, Thomas Peterson has predicted um, Predicted um, the following TDT against Raptor, which is the game we are following tonight. 
to end 3 0 for Rep 3 and another 3 0 prediction for A1 1 against Chai Raiders. Is it going to be the case? I, I highly doubt. To be honest, I think Thomas Peterson has been on. on on the crazy side lately, I think Thomas Peterson has gone rampant, so um, I don't believe Thomas Peterson at this point. Mapbox and Nozzle Brown are still like sane at the least, uh, they're still sane, but Thomas Peterson has gone already, has gone uh, just uh, has gone crazy, um, and I don't think. Uh, I, I think there might be problem with calibrating Thomas Peterson, but I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check later on. Hello, but now let's see how you're doing. Um, if you are following the, uh, the professionals, tomorrow it will be raid versus fail. That will be streamed by every every will be following raid. Fujit Blitz will be following Endgame as he will be facing as uh, streaming Endgame versus Jones first. I'll be following BPS and the, their first game will be against APA with Mnet following Immortals and they're up against Loka first. And hello to Fernalaid. So hopefully we uh, hopefully we have more viewers. Uh, than the professional streams. Um, now that tonight it's only me that is streaming, so hopefully we, we can center all the viewers to here and see some exciting matches for the challenges tonight and tomorrow. We'll, we'll hand the reins to, over to Rolling Swarm as he will follow the remaining three bra uh, three fixtures of the challenges tournament final stage. Uh, looking at the table so far, the top four so far is BPS, Jones, Loka, and Endgame tied with three game wins. That is to be expected and I don't know, the top four looks like to me these four clans. However, we've seen that APA, Immortals, um, from my stream obviously, and even Vale, they are capable of uh, beating any of the top four clans you're seeing right here. Um, no keys for you, Benality. There are no keys on this stream. Uh, raid so far has been a bit underwhelming. They have the least number of match wins. And they only have one game win. Although they are with zero game wins, uh, they have already secured 10 match wins. And I believe it's just only a matter of time before Vale is able to start winning matches. And don't forget <laughs> what happened to Blitz Premier Cup first season, I believe. Uh, vale, the first two days, they got zero points. And they started winning games and ended up in the fifth place. I mean, it's that was a 10. 10 team round robin, single round robin, and Vale started off with the first four matches, first four games to be losses, and really relied on the last six, at uh, last five, um, uh, five games. They secured four out of five wins um, in the last five games. So, can we see the same for Vale tomorrow? They need to start winning matches, and I think Raid is a good starting point. Um, the next day are also up against um, up against uh, BPS, which is going to be tough, and we will be we will be streaming that as well. Uh, the only class we haven't streamed will be raid, which I don't think we will have a chance to stream raid because that will be exclusively exclusively for every. Um, we also might not have uh, we also haven't streamed APA so far, I believe. We've streamed Immortals, Veil, Endgame. Oh, we stream APA, I believe, isn't it? I forgot. We probably haven't streamed APA as well. Um, uh, but we streamed. Uh, but we haven't also streamed Loka, despite getting allocated Loka uh, to Loka uh, a lot during the previous skill tournaments. But we know how good Loka is, so let's hope that we will get Loka. In, uh, uh, on the 4th of October, um, there's only one game there, so interesting. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> well, you don't get uh, keys by watching the stream for five minutes. That's not how it works uh, in reality. Um, I hope the room is up soon.
but we will see. Um, only one minute left until the room is going to be there, so we'll wait patiently and hopefully more people will trickle in and start to watch. We'll follow TDT vs Rep 3 tonight and I have to make sure, let me just double check whether I have the right overlay for that uh, scene, which I did. So be prepared that we'll go into the room anytime soon, but um, from freshness to the moment, it will be a double round run. I think, I think the first time since 2017, where it's been held in a double round robin series instead of a single round robin. Is up. Let's go in. So this is what's going to be happening here. Um, TTT versus Rep 3. So many monsters, but um, TTT knocked out, knocked out Sparta uh, yesterday, where Sparta lost to Chai Raiders in the upper bracket first round. Rep 3 got their revenge and they knocked out Rete, which I think Rete is a, is, a, is a contender to win the challenges as well as Sparta. Now I think the only huge contender at the moment in, in, in the, at this stage would be A1M1 but you will never know um, there are clans here that surprised us a lot for example like Chai Raiders surprised us uh, I, I would say they surprised us quite a lot as well being in, being drawn into a tough group and is able to get out of this tough group and then you're seeing TDT you're seeing Rep3 also getting drawn into a relatively tough group and also being able to get out of that their group um, to advance to the final stage and TDT also knocking out Sparta is a huge huge achievement so I think we are up for some really exciting games and TDT vs Rep3 uh, Rep3 going for quadruple M60s so no keys uh, Chiapu and the 100 surprise in the mouse Bus I7 uh, TDT. Um, I don't know what's going. Um, but they're kind of trolling at the moment. I I'm not sure if that's going to be their final setup. But if it, uh, but uh, we never know. We can't take the share of the missile. But I, I'm afraid. A TTT is definitely trolling us at the moment. So. Um, We'll wait until TDT has uh, finalized their lineup. They're still having some decision issues with uh, the tier 10 tanks, but they but they have to make sure no one's looking at a tank that is outside tier 10 because that will automatically grant a technical defeat to TDT. So only two minutes remaining to go. Um, I, th I think TDT doesn't have to worry about stream sniping because there is a five minute delay on the stream, so they can ready up in the tanks they want to uh, they they want to take in the, of the um, according to their pre-made strategies. Hello, oh, sorry, eight Brad. How are you doing? Mm. 
Not sure we are seeing, going to see any more changes for TDT. Let's talk about Port Bay. Port Bay is a map that really depends on what tank you take and also where you want to go. Um, Northeastern corner is very popular for random matches. As you see a medium tank or a light tank speeding its way to that area. But you have C that, or um, well, I mean, you have a lot of terrain there you can hold down and so on. And that will be very imp uh, that will be very important um, and will be really good for hold down tanks. So really expecting some T125s, um, m 6 os Crown Vargans. That's possible. AB is a lot flatter, so that would mean tanks uh, like the IS-7, IS-4, E100 amounts would benefit a lot. Uh, in that area, so potentially you can this you can determine where the team could go depending on which lineup they are taking. And TT is still playing around with the waiting room, and hopefully we are going to see, we see some close battles tonight. TT going with double crown Vargans, a T22, a T125, a Vickers Light, an f 6 and a VK19.01 P. We're going into Port Bay. Looking at TDT, it's kind of oh my gosh! I took the heavy tank. <laughs> Looking at TDT's lineup, it's kind of um, not back to the to the old meta. And rep three is kind of closer to what I would expect in the latest meta. Um, TDT saying hi to me, so um, all the best to you. But. Because TDT has taken two beams of lights, they would not have the hit point pool lead. Uh, in fact, they are down by almost 2,000 hit points. So they have to trade a lot better than Rep 3, and that's head up high. Looking at TDT going mostly to the AB side and Rep 3 doing something similar. I mean, if you look at their lineup, you will probably expect Rep 3 to go to C. Um, but C might be captured by the Toys key. But it's a good case here. Uh, no one is going to rep, uh, to see from rep three side, so I think that could be that could come as a surprise for TDT, but that could also mean that TDT might have the advantage with the terrain, because look at what tanks they are taking, Crown Vargans and a VK ninety point zero one P. The Ultimate is there to try to reset whoever is trying to go for C. Um, I mean, he is not doing a lot of stuff there, but. He might want to re relocate now that uh, TDT knows Rap3 is not going for uh, C. A bit worried about the the m 6 os choice here, um, but they have a mouse, they have an E100, and they have the IS7, so potentially they can play for AB. But the m 6 os might struggle a little bit, so we will see. I think Rap3 without the hip, without a cap, lead, might want to rotate. And those m 6 could be very good with that, uh, in that situation. Um, what you might be seeing here is that Rap3 originally wanted to use those m 6 as a, as a spawn-based spawn strategy. But it seems they can't do that because why would TDT want to rush? I mean, they have Catley, they don't need to do much. And they don't have the hit point pool advantage, so they don't want to gamble too much on that. And uh, thank you, Sloan, for the donation once again. And um, we're now seeing Rap3 going to use a speed boost, spot it now, uh, TDT knows something's going on near C, are they going to make a move onto the other side here? We're seeing um, Monster Daddy trying to go close, get close to A, but C is trying to be captured by Rep3, Ultimate has relocated to somewhere else, so I don't think TDT is able to reset C, and now TDT lost C and they will not have a cap uh, at the moment with Rep3 having a cap but that is going to be quite slow so TDT can absolutely spend a lot of time trying to get a cap with Seeker Destroy trying to get A to maintain the, the cap lead Monster Daddy took a double tap so that's not ideal at all because they're still under around 2000 hit points of deficit but they've given up A you're seeing Rep3 uh, getting cross shots into Seeker Destroy as well Ultimate trying again to capture A and if they could capture A once again, it's going to be Rep 3 that needs to make a rotation. And fast with a miss there. Ultimate receives an HE splash from Lax, I assume. Lax wants to reset Ultimate in trying to get A.
but already Rap3 has made a move near B. They're trying to push onto B. I think this push can materialize, but Misha is getting the focus from TDT and bumps into a building. This is not good from Misha and will be taken out by Sports. Sports is now the focus for Rap3. And it's now Permatrack and could be taken out by Rap3 soon. TDT on the other hand is trying to make a counter push onto Trash. The hit points are in huge favor of um, Rap3 at the moment, but TDT is consolidating and that could be a good good move from TDT with Trash now that's now 6 versus 5. The next tank they would like to go for could be a uh, Flask, but Bars is now doing a 1 versus 1 with Seek and Destroy. Seek and Destroy with lower hit points. Daddy is now coming to save Seek and Destroy and Seek and Destroy now down to potentially uh, a one-shot ultimate is now dead. Hit points still in huge favor for Rep 3 at the moment. Seek and Destroy if that bounce, that is not ideal. Could have killed Bars already at this point. But Monster looking to get that shot into um, Bar, uh, um, into Seek and Destroy. Killed off Seek and Destroy. Bars is killed by Daddy instead. It's now 4 versus 4. And the focus fire from TT so far is brilliant. But I, 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 I'm afraid that... The, the inherent hit point disadvantage might prove might prove too much for them to handle. Octopus Prime potentially could be the next tank down for TDT with Dostoevsky trying to get surprised out of the way. But Octopus Prime now trying to get a full reload on the surprise. Is it still possible for TDT or is it too much to handle? Too many hit points for Rap 3, great shot from Chiapo onto Optimus Prime and Optimus Prime will be killed by surprise. And uh, finally we have the Soyevsky and that Vic is like trying to run away. They don't have the cap lead. Um, they could try a cap C but I don't think he could cap it quickly enough. So the Soyevsky still getting swore to try to go down to this river and with B attempting to be captured by Rap 3, the Soyevsky has very little time. Um, he might want to go for C at this point, or maybe want to go for a kill, but it's going to be really hard. Dostoevsky is actually going to be a one clip away from getting shut down by Rap 3, and this game goes to Rap 3 1 0. It is um, TDT. I think they dropped some hit points while trying to cap A, and they. And they also took two memes of light. I think really the lineup sets them back here. Uh, they have relatively good focus fire. I think the discipline is pretty good, but I think, uh, but I really do think they should take an, um, another heavy tank slot of uh, medium or light because the hit points are really, uh, I mean, they have a strong hit point boot disadvantage and they pretty much never never overcome that and rap free made sure that push was decisive enough and it was not hesitant at all so rap three made a boat call and that call paid off and they have better tanks as well like uh mouse and e100s could bounce shots for days um but tdt maybe they want to take a heavier setup and that i think that could work better for them um they also dropped some hit points from a which i don't think that will be the losing move because they really want to maintain the cap, they pretty much, I would say, um, they would want to change the lineup slightly so that uh, they would not be under a strong hit point pool uh, disadvantage. Um, otherwise, it's actually a good match for both teams, I would say. I don't think TDT has made a major mistake, to be honest with you. Uh, I can't really see a major mistake from TDT. Maybe um, certain shots should have, should have panned. I really can't see some big major mistakes, I don't know. But Rat 3 certainly did really well here. They're going with triple M60Os, double I7, a Vicus Light and a Mouse with TDT, sticking with two medium sword lights. A bit worried about this, but let's see how many hit points they still have. Uh, double M60Os, an I7, a 50B and a Mouse. Let's go. Okay, TDT this time from the south side with Rep 3 blue team on the north side. Um, hit, points, hit point wise, this time they're closer. Um, so TDT is not going to drop medium or light. 
and this time they won't have a huge disadvantage their hip hop disadvantage because Rep 3 also took a Vegas light, so let's see what's going to happen here. Um, Monster Daddy is trying to go for C, trying to get C uh, as, uh, sported, but Rep 3 is going to commit most of the tanks there, so Monster Daddy could be in some sort of trouble. He sported Trash, went up to this um, plateau, so well done to Trash here. So Daddy has to pull back, oh, receives a shot um, from Flybast, and I think. Rat 3 looking to shut down for Daddy completely. Daddy might want to run away as soon as he could, but is it going to be enough? Um, Daddy's still trying to run away, but it's going to be difficult with Ultimate also taking some hits already. Rat 3 starting off once again pretty sol uh, pretty well. They are trying to get C, but the hit point pulled the cap lead is going to go to TDT because the Toyovsky ca captured A more quickly. So TDT is now forced to hold and defend. They have B beyond. Uh, they have B behind them. So this is going to be tough. And Rap Three could feel a bit of pressure. TDT has slightly more map, map control at the moment. But Rap Three, they actually rotate to the other side. Maybe they be, will be able to pincer TDT. We will see what's going to happen now with um, Trash looking to to try to uh, surround TDT's forces with B attempting to be captured by TDT and this will put even more pressure for Rep 3 to make a push now that uh, Misha has taken a hit somewhere uh, from the Soyevsky uh, look at uh, the Soyevsky looking to put another shell into Misha is it the case here? Uh, I don't think that will be the case for now um, TDT has continued to drop more hit points at the moment but we might see a push coming from Rat 3 soon. In fact, we are seeing a big, big push coming from Rat 3. They might look look to shut down sports. But as we, as we always say, don't focus the mouse first. So they might want to go for Blanco. But it seems there is some lapses in the, in the communication. That means TDT is able to pull some hit points back. Uh, but is it going to be enough though? Uh, sports still holding on. But Rat 3 has a bit of hesitation with uh, which tank to go for first. Blanco needs to stay back. Seek and Destroy still relatively full health needs to go first and Blanco needs to stay safe um, uh, Blanco's going up because rap, uh, Surprise is going to come from behind. They need to get uh, Misha out of the way. That is going to be the focus for TDT. Hippos are now neck and neck with Chiapo now dead. Misha is going to be a one shot um, and Zeke is still pretty much full health. I think there are a couple of bounces coming from Rep 3. Looking at Sport being taken out next and um, Fly Bars is now quite low. Ultimate Gracio to fly boss and will kill off fly boss. That means it's going to be a five versus four now. Lex now down to one shot. This is looking better and better for uh, TDT right now. They have two caps and they are now leading in hit points as well. Lex is going to be killed by Seek and Destroy, I suppose. It is going to be the case with surprise potentially to be the focus for TDT and Optimus Prime probably could still stay alive. And we are seeing. At the same time, Trash trying to cap A. Is it going to be enough though? I don't know because TDT are now pretty much shutting down I7s and Mouses. I think this is this is pretty much the last ditch effort for Rep 3 to win. But it's not. It's going to be futile because TDT will get the win here. Although they lost Octopus Prime, that is going to get C, and they will win by caps. But Seeker Destroy is unable to kill off Rep 3. It's going to be Dotoyevsky doing that instead. TDT got one back. Wow. So, whoa. So, great job to TDT here. They held their ground well. Uh, they completely compact to completely capitalize on Rap 3 being hesitant and I think this is the main reason why Rap 3 lost. The push, the idea was correct. I wouldn't say correct, the idea was pretty decent. I think it I think it I think it can work really well. Um it's just that Rap 3 couldn't decide on which time to go for first. Obviously uh I would ignore sports and go for that M60 instead I think Blanco is the is the one and Rap3 just hesitated for a few seconds and that is enough for TDT to get uh, to to reduce the hit point pool deficit they have initially and that is going to be enough for them to get a win in this one and we are now on to Vignot and if TDT continues to do something like that Rap3 needs to be really careful hesitation uh, hesitation like that will cost you games 
and especially when you're in the middle of the push, if you're rushing, if you hesitate, uh, chances are you're out in the open and you will get shot and your hit points will drop. Uh, don't hesitate while you rush. You must, you must be decisive in picking up the targets and don't stop while, uh, don't stop in the open while rushing. Um, but that is probably going to be the worst idea you could ever do. Uh, and they pretty much lost their initial hit point point as well. And we are now on to 1-1. One, one. Uh, both teams now on to 1-1. One, one. And not an exciting match to watch, I would say. Vineyards is not going to be 3-0, obviously. So Thomas Peterson has got that scoreline incorrect. But is, but will Thomas Peterson get the correct outcome? We will find out soon. Four seconds left to go. We will go in to Vineyards. Okay, TDT. Red team from the North Spawn with Blue team, Red 3 from the South Spawn. We're seeing TDT. Well, let's see where they're going this time. Uh, Red 3, Blue team. Let's follow the Vickers light here. The interesting thing is TDT, they didn't take a light tank. And in the map like Vineyards, that could be a problem. And I'm not sure if TDT actually just hit it hurt my advice to drop a medium of light, but I didn't say to drop two, I just only said drop one, not two. <laughs> so we are now seeing Rap 3 going to capture B. Um, that will give Rap 3 the cap lead, and, and, and a really good cap lead to be honest with you. And hit points are still in favour of Aditi at the moment with Optimus Prime dropping some hit points. And Chiapo and Flybar are going to get quite close to A, so TDT can't really get A. Can they get C? We are going to be seeing Monster Daddy trying to go for that cap, but it's been spotted. Will Rat 3 has re shots for resets? Uh, we are seeing potentially Misha trying to put a great shot into Monster Daddy, and he did uh, did really well on that. Uh, C will be captured by Monster Daddy, but um, Rat 3 has chipped away enough hit points now that they had a hit point advantage momentarily. Now that uh, one of the tanks, Fly Boss, to hit. So once again, it's going to be TDT with a cap lead and the hit point, hit point pull lead. Um, but the difference is more than 80. So one kill is not enough for TDT to flip it back to their favor. But with Rat 3 also tripping more hit points away from Optimus Prime, TDT needs to be really careful now because they are starting to lose hit points. And Rat 3, they don't have a solid map control at the moment so TDT doesn't really feel the pressure at the moment but obviously T Optimus Prime is in a tight position to operate in. Um, uh, Didi asks us uh, which uh, which clan will win the challenges. I would let the viewers decide here. Um, and we are now seeing op um, TDT still holding. If you do the maths here, uh, let's actually do the uh, do the do the maps until the 800 cap points because 800 cap points is pretty much the mark that you must make a move so how much time can uh, how much time do they have to sit at their original positions and try to chip away points of rep 3 we're talking about 200 more cap points to go uh, 5 cap points per 2 seconds of increase then we are talking about um, uh, an 80 seconds so that's around 1 minute and 20, se 20, se uh, 20 seconds remaining to go for TDT that's a, that's sufficient time for TDT to decide on where to push and how uh, and how they could chip away hit points of rep 3 so far they aren't able to chip any hit points away from TDT rep 3 is making TDT difficult but sport also lo loses some hit points so if it continues this way, the Toyoski also lost some hit points, TDT might be in trouble and A could be actually under some pressure because uh, TDT isn't really defending A actually and they're trying to get a push over to Lex but that push could be sported, that could work but Rat3 could also try to get hold of A so it's pretty much a gamble for, for TDT here they're trying to get Lex out of the way, Lex is isolated so that's a good call but maybe 
uh, but maybe they sent a little bit too much, too many tanks there. Um, Daddy's looking to kill off Lux, I would say. It is going to be the case, but on the other side, Optimus Prime's going to go down. So that down to a two shot, but Raptor seems to be not clinical enough in killing off Optimus Prime. It's finally dead. The hit points are still with Rap 3, and the cap points are also still with Rap 3, but B is now. It's now getting a cap stopped here. The oh, is going to be killed. So it's now going to be fine for the six. This is going to be getting tense. But Rapri has the advantage here. They're looking for Monster Blanco for the next tank down. And TDC really struggling now um, to find a tank to get uh, to, to, to focus out. Bishop is now really low, but it's rotating out of the fight. With Blanco is going to be killed by Rap 3 now. It's now going to be a four versus six, four versus five. Mission now death four versus five. And Daddy could be the next focus for Rap 3, and Rap 3 is now closer than ever to victory with a kill onto Monster Daddy. They just needed to survive and secure another kill, and it will be TD uh, Rap 3. But Surprise lost, um, uh, Surprise died, and it's now going to be 3 versus 4. But B is now getting capsuled once again by Second Destroy, but Second Destroy is now down to a one shot, but Sport will be killed first. That means. Rap 3 will get a win here, and that's just going to be 2 1 for Rap 3. I have to say, Rap 3 looks really solid in this one. Uh, they made it really difficult for TDT um, to make a push um, to ship away hit points away, and I think Rap 3 has everything in control. TDT, I think it was an interesting idea to push onto an isolated Lax, and Lax did zero damage, sadly. But I think they sent like four tanks almost like too many tanks like they completely left um they completely left like Dostoevsky I think um fighting for his uh, for his own life um and despite killing off Lax it's just an equal gun trade so TDT um I think it's really difficult for TDT to decide on what to do I can't really say so you have to give credits for Rapid they, they have done really well in the previous match I think maybe, maybe if they send some, if they don't dive, um, send too many tanks or just one single tank, like maybe two will be enough, or maybe three, two to three, three will be enough, and you don't need like four, just one tank. Then maybe TDT has a chance. I don't know. I, I think it's just a bit too difficult for them to make a comeback here. But Rap Free, great job in this match, and now they're back on vineyards. Hey, who is this Thomas? Someone asked. Thomas is Thomas Peterson is a supercomputer that is built by me and takes into account several factors like um, uh, several factors. Um, oh, takes into the results of previous skill tournaments. Um, um, tournaments and parameters uh, and uh, and it's calculated with uh, calculated based on results and also some other uh, variables like also the maps they've played on the, the score line uh, for example if it's a 4-3 score line then the weighting would be different than if it's like a 4-0 score line so it's good it's a complicated algorithm and it's kind of calculated in such a way to predict the scoreline of uh, uh, to predict the scoreline for the result you are seeing here. Thomas Peterson was saying like a three 0 for rep three. So if our rep three is winning, so Thomas Peterson might not be that insane in the end. Um, so Husky pretty much summarized that. So thank you very much. It's just a prediction robot. It's not a real person, so don't worry. Don't uh, you don't need to trash talk that person. It's just a prediction bot that takes into a complicated algorithm that takes into account results of. Uh, Previous skill tournaments, basically. That, let's look at this Toyoski. Trying to go into the TVP, uh, try and get spots up, but it seems uh, I just messed up with my controls. Mish is going to go into A, trying to cap it out. It is going to be the case, but it seems B will capture first because TDT has two ca uh, two tanks into the base, and with A going to be captured as well. Um, and C could be captured as well by Rapid. Rapid might actually have a cap lead. The 50 Bs are not sported and will be getting C with impunity. Say hello to a previous everyone. Uh, do note that once again, there are no rewards for this stream because it's a challenges to the mint uh, stream. So, it, so you won't receive any rewards. 
but I'm the only streamer streaming the Challengers tournament tonight on the EU server, so it's it's going to be worth watching. There are some really amazing matches. We saw Rap3 in the previous match being very dominant um, with a cap control strategy, but seems to see the TVPs are, are rotating with South Gang sported. Are we going to be seeing the the four clippers, the four relatively paper clippers? Are they going for C? Optimus Prime is spotted, so a sport is all spotted. The double 50 Bs have spotted up the 50 Bs. Are they, oh, are they going to pass C? They're going to pass C, but Optimus Prime might be a bit alone there. Will be joined by those TVPs. They need to get Trash out of the fight. It will be the case. That's a great kill there. Flybus tried to run away. Is it going to be enough? It's trying desperately to run away. Receives a lot of shots, but Red 3 doesn't have us. I mean, they still close in hit points they are not under a strong hit point point disadvantage but now C has been captured by TDT and TDT did not keep did not continue pushing because they don't really need to do so they have they now have cap lead. they just need to defend now Chiapo coming from below looking to get shots into TDT but it seems TDT might be looking to make another big push now fly and also that's is in trouble Rat3 needs to get these tanks out of the way. The mobility of TDT, they need to get a focus fire as well. Flybus now dead. They're looking for Lex next. This is going to be a great, great push from TDT. They need to get Lex out of the way. Unfortunately, they might be sending so many, too many tanks onto one single tank. So once again, they might lose Seeker Destroy and might lose Ultimate very soon. So with B now captured by Rat3, both teams playing really quick. And Chiapo going into C as well. Lex is going to go down to Octopus Prime. Now it's going to be a 6 versus 4. With Ultimate now pre pre low, Rat3 needs to get the tanks out of the way. The hit point still in favor of uh, TDT at the moment, but Rat3 is now dead. Ultimate needs to be killed by surprise, and it's going to be a case. And Mission needs to stay back, needs to stay in cover, but it's not going to be the case. He's now getting perma tracked and could be taken out by the 50B soon. Sports will kill off uh, Misha, and it's now going to be a 5 versus 2. The hit points are in huge favor of, Rat, uh, of TDT at the moment, Monster. Now showing the backside to surprise. If if surprise can kill monster, that could be big. But sports trying to shield monster as as much as he could. And monster is, is still alive. But surprise now on drop reload. Down to one shot now. And Chiapo will kill off Blanc uh, Blanco. And it's now going to be a four versus one with TDT capturing B as well. They have cap points. They have hit points. It's certainly going to be TDT. And we're now going to be seeing a time breaker here. Ooh, what a match. What a match for TDT. Like how mobile they are in this game. And they are focused. Uh, they hesitated a little bit, but they didn't hesitate too much. And they committed to the push. And they took out the isolated tanks of Rat 3. Rat 3, I think, didn't. Uh, Rat 3, I think, um, they weren't very clinical on the other side. And they cleared out tanks uh, more slowly than. TDT did and that is the difference that sets them apart TDT gonna win with a solid push and they got the focus fire really well and decisiveness is pretty much the main, the key thing here TDT got the win with 5 tanks to more than 2k now tiebreaker on New Bay who is going to get the win and advance to the upper bracket final we'll find out soon Now, Rat3, we are seeing quadruple M60s by Misha, Surprise, Lex, and Rat3, the player. <laughs> Trash in the Crown Bargain alongside Chiapo and Flybars in the E100. On the other hand, we have TDT going with Sports and the Bowers, Monster in, the, in the, one of the monsters in the E100, another monster potentially in the Crown Bargain, but the Soyuzki in the 140, but TDT going with quadruple M60s here. And that will be Octopo m 6 across the board. Yeah, Crown with the turret traverse nerf. That could be a big problem, but v dots can be a special map for Crowns. You have lots of terrain that you can hold down. Crown Vargans are really good held down. So I think there is still, I mean, there is still kind of a reason why teams still take the Crown Vargans, really because of the turret armor's very strong. So let's see what's going to happen here. New Bay, both teams. Tiebreaker. Is it going to be TDT or is it going to be Rap 3? We'll find out soon. New Bay.
Let's head up high. Let's head up high soon, and we will see. TDT versus Rap Three, uh, tiebreaker on New Bay, with uh, Red Team being TDT on the north side, Rap Three blue team from the south side. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, seek and destroy in that MTXO. Well, I mean, why, why are we following him? Well, that's. Well, I don't care really. C uh, could be captured by Trash at the start. So, Red 3 once again looking to get a cap lead, and there's a fancy pink building, pink building once again. Uh, with Misha and also Surprise and Chiapo trying to get up the bridge quickly, and maybe they're trying to get aggressive near the bridge. It's probably going to be a bridge host strategy for both teams. Pretty much, whichever team can trade better would we'll have the advantage here. Red 3 is being held back at the moment, but TDT is also very far back, so I think Red 3 good opportunity for them to push slightly more forward, but they are approaching this one carefully. Um, I think the nerves might get them a little bit, but Seek and Destroy for a relatively high row. Red 3 might go for a big push, not sure if it's going to work, they don't have the hit point boot advantage, but Seek and Destroy is in deep trouble, but trying to, side, trying to show the side armor and took a little hits doing that. And has has uh, gone down with Misha diving down, taking more than 300 in doing so. Hip was still with um, TDT at the moment with Flybus being killed down the middle. We fo we completely missed that, I believe. TDT focused down Bass really well. Blanco is going to be the next focus for Rap 3 now. Down to one shot. Will be killed by Rap 3. And Rap 3 now looking for potentially... Um, Daddy or Ultimate, I don't know. They need to find focus. I think Surprise got a good idea here. Looking for Optimus Prime. Hit points are still in favor of TDT, but Rat 3 seems to be better in getting the focus fight, and they also have a gun advantage. That can be very important in the late game stages, but Daddy got. Uh, Daddy kills off Lax. Lax got completely eviscerated here. Surprise, um, unable to get help from uh, Lax here. Great shot into Optimus Prime and looking to land that last shell into Optimus Prime. But now Hippos are now necking that. There is still chance for both teams, but Rat 3, they do not have the high ground. And that can be a big problem for Rat 3 here um, with uh, Ultimate TDT. They have the advantage, terrain advantage. They really need to make use of that. They're only looking to break a big shot into the backside of Misha. That would be the case. Now it's going to be a 4 versus 4. Chiapo fully reloaded going to put shots into Monster Daddy but Ultimate puts really good shots into uh, Chiapo as well. Chiapo could be down to one shot now and Sport looking to kill off Chiapo but could get stuck while diving down but will kill off Chiapo now. It's going to be 4 versus 3. Hit points still really close to call. Trash still relatively healthy. That, that could be really important. If Trash can win that 1 versus 1 fight against the Soyuzki, it will be a Vickers like being freed up here. But surprise now getting killed. And Monster Daddy looking to kill off Rap 3. Rap 3 with the full clip near here. Bounce of 1. But Daddy with that big bounce, I think Rap 3 could potentially kill off Daddy here. But it's not going to be the case. He is unable to put a shot into uh, Daddy, who will be killed by Sport. Now, it's going to be a last bit standing for Trash. And, once again, Thomas Peterson has changed Rat 3. With Trash now being a one-shot. TDT looking very certain to qualify to the upper bracket final. Ultimate great shot onto Trash. And that will condemn Rat 3 into the lower bracket first round. Well done. Well done to, well done to TDT and commiserations to Rapfree. They have tried very hard and it was very, very close, but they couldn't get it to the final third. Uh, the push once again was kind of half-hearted as well, but um, but it was not really half-hearted to be honest. I think really down, really down to TDT working the crossfire really well and killing off those important tanks. I think the kill onto lags really was really crucial because that allowed Surprise to have a much harder time to kill off the eyes of the tanks. I think Rep 3 kind of lost their concentration slightly in the middle. I don't know what happened exactly, but they were forced to put shots in in multiple fronts and that really didn't help at all for Rep 3. Um, and as for TDT, um, in the end, I think most of the matches we've seen so far, I think really their focus fire um, the discipline of their focus fire is brilliant. I think they are better in the focus fire than Rap 3 for what we are seeing here. Uh, just thinking the, the the calls and the strategies would need some uh, would need some tinkering. But that's what's uh, but but if they could do it for tomorrow, 
that I think they will be a formidable, oppo formidable opponent in the Challengers tournament, and I think they could contend for the champion of the Challengers tournament. Alright, A1N1 has beaten Chai Raiders 3-0, so that's exactly what uh, Thomas Peterson has predicted. But uh, we got one scoreline wrong. <laughs> oh well. Um, and we are now going to be following, we'll be following rap, rap 3 next in the lower bracket first round with A1N1 qualified. I think so far, uh, if we see A1N1 here, they have, uh, oh, they have lost, they have lost some matches, they... But they have a really dominant record so far in the Challengers tournament. They are looking to be a huge contender for winning the entire Challengers tournament. But there, there could only be eight teams in the in the in the professionals tournament, and all the eight teams we are seeing here so far in the professionals tournament are really strong teams, really great teams. So um, I think like A1 and one would not feel salty that they are not in the top eight because. Um, because the top eights are really good, and A1N1 probably a bit overqualified in this tournament, but CDT would potentially be their most difficult opponent yet. Let's see what's going to happen here. And Chai Raiders against Red Three. This is going to be another close one, I have to say. Um, because before, uh, be, uh, before previously. A1N1 lost to TDT in the third previous skill tournament in the quarterfinal, and that was so important that uh, that meant TDT was able to qualify to the Challengers tournament, and A1N1 uh, fell out of race uh, with APA in the top eight. So, will A1N1 be able to, to take that revenge against TDT tomorrow? That would be a best of seven series, so whichever team wins the first four matches will win the fixture. I think it will be very interesting to watch, and Rowing really Strong will have all the coverage there. Let's see about um, what Thomas Peterson has to say about the next match in the lower bracket first round. Was that an ammo rack? I missed that. I don't think there was an ammo rack. Um, maybe you can stop the stream. Good focus fire. I believe it's good focus fire. So on to lax, I think it's good focus fire. So that was so important here. So yeah, focus fire. I don't think there was an ammo rack because um, I, I don't think it was just one shot and that killed the tank completely. I don't think that was the case. So well done to TDT on that. That was a, such a crucial kill there. Yeah, really GG's to both teams. Uh, uh someone, uh, A1N1. <laughs> I think A1N1 can stop TDT, I don't know. I mean, TDT doesn't look like I mean, they didn't look very dominant against Rap 3, let's be honest here. Like, it could have been like Rap 3 or it could have been Rap 3 any day, to be honest with you. So, um, 
we haven't seen A1M1 in challenges, so I do think TDT the biggest challenge will be A1M1. So let's see what's going to be. What's going to be the case now? Okay, so what does uh, what does uh, Thomas Peterson says said for the next match, Tyrese versus Rapfri? What's going to be their prediction? Okay, it's going to be zero three. I don't know why. <laughs> what happened to Thomas Peterson? Thomas Peterson just hates Tyrese a lot. Um, It's fun to watch. I wouldn't say it's disgusting. I wouldn't say it's disgusting. We we saw like some really great plays from both teams. So not disgusting. I I I I don't think that was disgusting. I think it was hardly disgusting. Like if it was disgusting, then I think you haven't really seen some of the matches uh, on my stream. Some of my streams, uh, they 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 were hardly like uh, hard, difficult to watch. Like. I've streamed some, and some of the matches are like uh, littered with a lot of major mistakes from both teams. And for some reason, the team that makes the major mistakes was still allowed to win. And that, I would say, was uh, was going to be, as you said, disgusting. But I didn't see any of that tonight so far. So, um, so let's see what's going to happen. We so what's going to happen next? So Thomas Peterson say rap free three nil Charis. Uh, really, I think Thomas Peterson lost the plot. I don't trust Thomas Peterson. I don't think it will be that dominant. I think it's. I think it's silly. I don't think Charis will lose zero three to rap free. Like, I don't think that is the case. Probably because Charis didn't really register lots of matches and wins for um, uh, matches and wins in uh, during uh, during the previous skill tournaments. So maybe that is why. Thomas Peterson is pretty much jinxing Chai Raiders here. If not jinxing, pretty much condemning uh, Chai Raiders to oblivion. But that's, I really don't trust Thomas Peterson at this point. This is just, it's just a bit, uh, this is just novelty at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Let's actually play a match because I think we still have time. So let's play one, and then we'll get into the next. We get into the into the waiting room as we will be seeing Chai Raiders versus Rap Three. Well, if you bite my nails, then games. Well. Will you bite my? Will you bite your nails if my commentary is going to get exciting, huh? I'll do pay yeah. Um. Oh. 
Oh well. Oh yeah. Oh then you yeah yeah yeah. But anyway. Oh hello. Oh Senef saying hi to me. Um Bat chats oh almost be able to put a shot in but I think it's good to conserve one for now. Bat chat I'm coming for you. Um I might I think I might be a bit redundant here, but I don't really care. That chat needs to be killed. Come on. There we go. I'll enter a reload. What Emberak? Well, when did that happen? Oh my gosh, I'm getting rushed. Someone save me! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I, I think I've done the bad move here. Now I'm doomed. Now they're going to focus me down like crazy. <laughs> How did I bounce that? Oh my lord. Okay, I've done what I could. I don't think that uh, the team is... I don't think we have a chance, really. <laughs> but I think your name is kind of bad. Yes, I agree with that. Yes. Um, I... Oh, Carmelo thinking how often 60 TV people use in tournaments. It hasn't been released yet. I mean, we always hear about rumors that the tank would become too OP for tier 10, but so far, I think the only tank that has been used very often after the release would be the would be crumb bargains and also m 6 yos 60tp i don't know i have not tested that tank so i can't say whether it will be overused or not we can only we can only speculate don't know i just can't say here i just don't know Uh, Svenly asking me if I'm going to stream. No, no time for that. Obviously, I mean I'm pretty much sacrificing my 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 real life for this. So, uh, no 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 more streaming for another game. So that will be good. Um, we will be getting the room invite soon we did or not did we miss the room invite let's see well that is just that's interesting it seems it's bugged or is it not bugged Yeah, this is looking a bit strange for me. Am I unable to get into the room? Oh, not sure what happened there. Now I'm able to get into the room. <laughs> Crisis resolved. Well, we are now going to be on okay now. now wrap three go with triple i7 triple m60 and trash and figures like try radius continuing to prove thomas peterson wrong i don't know what's going on with thomas peterson but it uh, seems a bit um it seems a bit rubbish <laughs> this season um maybe also uh, maybe it's also a good thing to, to know because eu server is highly unpredictable um try radius now going with um, potentially triple y7 Jordan in the bat chat and double M60 and a Vickers like by Cook. <laughs> How the well are you doing? Good. Um,
so Canal, as I always say, is a map that is very cap oriented. Uh, south side for me is the less advantageous side, mainly because C is a lot harder to get than B. Um, we are seeing more clans going for counter strats from the south side because C is just a bit too difficult to cap. So a lot, a lot fewer clans are now trying to get C cap at the start. Uh, we're going to be see what China really is going to do here. Uh, we do see some big pushes over to B at the start. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. Especially when the other team has has tanks positioned to stop your rush from happening. That's like the perfect counter. Uh, as uh, and always I said, um, rush strategies are the easiest set of strategies to f work a counter to. Uh, so. You can't always use the uh, rush strategies um, all the time because um, because because to counter that you just need to defend well and just need to go into positions to stop that push from materializing and get enough distance away from where the push will actually happen. Like um, if the push needs to go a really long way to get the tanks out then you will have the advantage of getting shots in first and have the, the uh, have the pinpoint pool advantage and you also have the privilege to reload until your next shot so um, rush strategies for me uh, only works a couple of times and then it will not work <laughs> uh, unless the other team is uh, is new to this then you might use one uh, use the rush strategies to surprise them but most of the, but if you're up against some of the best teams of the server then they are real well prepared in these type of situations so let's look at how referee is going to deal with chai raiders here <laughs> these say all rush a very much so Let's get up high now. Rep 3, Rep team from the north side. Going mostly to AB with Chai Raiders. Exactly what I predicted. We'll be going for counter cap strats from the south side. Uh, we are seeing um, Chai Raiders getting really aggressive here now with Wawa Liu and also New Apalka trying to get B uncaptured, uncapped. With Lex taking a hit and also Rat 3, this is going to reset Rat 3's attempt to try Cap B. And C could be captured by Jordan, and that could be very important here. Now Rat 3 is trying to go for Neo Parker, and that can be a good move from Rat 3 because Neo Parker could be really isolated. He puts a now with a Rat 3 here. Rat 3 is going to put a now Gracia to Neo Parker now. Lex is fully reloaded. It's a bounce on the Neo Parker, but Chiris has already made a move to try to shut down Rat 3. And Rat 3 needs to make a counter hit now. They need to get a tank out as soon as possible, but Lex is also isolated. It's now 6 versus 6, 6 versus 7 actually. Lax is almost fully reloaded, but Jordan is now fully reloaded here. It's going to be a really tight fight. This has to send it into this array with Vileo now dead. Seven, 6 versus 5 with Pigeon now dead. This is just a total, total mess. <laughs> um, Surprise is now dead. It's now both B and C are both captured. New Apaka now down to one shot but will be killing off Lex first because he, because Alpaca reloads more quickly than Lex. With Black Dragon now being killed, Rat 3 with all the tanks now trying to um, concentrate their focus onto Martin Lair, but Misha is dead. Neil Apaka is dead. It's now 3 versus 3. Hit points still neck and neck here. Rat 3 does not have a hit point pool advantage, but could get a hit point pool advantage if Martin Lair is killed. It will be the case. 3 versus 2, but there are two light tanks if Trash is getting killed by Jordan. Uh, this could be really important because that means Rat 3 does not have the, um, the mobility, but Tyrannus has. They can try and play caps now if they can play it well. Jordan took a big hit. Flyboss just needed to land that big shell onto Jordan here. I think Jordan. Oh, that was a terrible miss there. I think that miss 
could be very important here. Jordan's still trying to run away. Chiapo really needs to land that last shell, but it's a bounce also. It's a miss also. Jordan's able to get out of um of this fight alive. And rap three, they have lost both. They have lost all A, B, and C, and now. Coke is trying to get shots into Chiapo. Rap 3 is really now in deep trouble. They're looking to get C as well. Can Chiapo um, shut down Jordan? Jordan could get spotted, but it's a bad chance. It's a light tank. It's going to it's going to be unspotted still. But that light tank off the Vickers light. Coke's trying to reset, trying to reset C. Jordan is now spotted, but that shot did not connect with Chiapo. And rap free, Chiapo gets shot once, trying to get C once again. It's going to be successful. Looking to get that, um, looking to get C as well. Flybus looking for Coke, but Chiapo is that one shot though. He, he is desperately trying to get hold of C, but Coke's now spotted. Flybus is catching up with Coke. The cap points are still with Chi Raiders now trying to, it's now still a close one. But Jordan's still alive. That's still going to be an important one to consider. Uh, let's go back to Chiapo for now. Jordan needs to land that shell onto Chiapo. Uh, Ch Jordan is still unsported. Great shot there from Jordan. But Chiapo could not connect into Jordan. Jordan's still a one shot. But Coke is trying to get B with Flybass looking to get A here. Coke still full health. This is still really anyone's game at the moment. But it looks pretty so secure. For Coke right now, if Chiapo is able to survive and get Jordan out of the way, and if Coke is able to kill off Chiapo, that can be really important. But just in time, Chiapo went into cover, but will be killed by Jordan now. One versus two. Chai Raiders of two caps now. I think this is surely going to be um, it's going to be Chai Raiders. They have those two light tanks working really well in unison, and very fortunate that. Jordan didn't get taken out by those IS-7s. I think it could have changed the entire rhythm of the game if Jordan was killed there. So here we go. C has been captured by Chai Raiders. I mean Chai Raiders really making use of the mobilities of the light tanks. With Flybars looking to get that shot onto Jordan but it's going to be onto Coke instead. Chai Raiders, they still have D. But Jordan gray short into Flybus trying to reset C, but Chai Raiders will get the win with the caps because they have two light tags still alive. Well done to Chai Raiders. Now it's going to be a 1-0 for Chai Raiders. Obviously, it's not going to be a 3-0 again. For Rep 3, 4 tanks do more than 2k and Chai Raiders, 5 tanks do more than 2k. And I have to say, um, Rep 3, um, I think it got a little bit... Oh, dear. Got a little bit... Um, Messy in the middle. I mean, I mean, it was so messy that I can't really concentrate on which ones to focus on. Like, it's all over the place. Very strappy until the end, where it comes, uh, when it becomes clear that Chai Raiders still have those uh, light tanks alive, which gave them a lot of mobility. Now, let's see what's going to happen next with um, Canal. Now, now looking at Chai Raiders with quintuple M60s, uh, an I7 and Vickers Light, Rep 3 going with quadruple M60s, an FE4202, an I7 and a Vickers Light. Back on Canal. <laughs> Let's see how it's going to go.
Rap 3 back on uh, back uh, now on the south side with Chai Raiders on the north side. Let's see what's going to happen here. Rap 3 does not have the hit point pool advantage because they are taking two medium selects with Chai Raiders going for one only. So let's see what's going to happen here with the five. M60 are they going for a big big rush on to C here um, C will be captured by Chiapo and also Bisha and are they going to get reset that's going to be a big big if here new Apaka has shots in this uh, in this bush this is why you want to cap over to the left side of the circle not the right side of the circle but equally you will get sh reset on the left side of the circle so anyhow Chiapo will get shots and this is why uh, the south side is actually the the less advantageous spawn. With Misha taking more hits, so the hit points are now in favor of Chai Raiders. But Jordan took a hit too. But it will mean that Rat 3 needs to make a rotation somewhere. But where is it going to happen? It's a good question here. We will find out soon. Um, as I always say, if it does use the use the valley here. It's kind of difficult to spot up unless you're in those bushes, which I think Chai Raiders will put their biggest light somewhere near there. Um, because on other flanks, they are a lot more open and they are a lot more prone to crossfire from Chai Raiders here. Chai Raiders have set up pretty nicely and kind of far forward too. Usually, you see a lot of tanks centered near A because they have a better overview, they have a better uh, view range there or not view range better line of fire let's uh, put it this way so this is why a lot of clans like to put their tanks behind the problem with putting tanks behind is that if you want to support your teammates you might get shot while doing that so i actually prefer like tanks pretty up and forward near b and c instead of pretty much like everyone near a because you potentially could um uh, could find it difficult to support your teammates, but let's see what's going to happen here. Rap three. They need to find a way to rotate, and this is going to be difficult. Trash. In that biggest light, they don't have a lot of time though. Six cap points remaining. Now uh, six cap points of increase per two seconds. We're talking about. We're talking about around one minute left to go. To to chip away hit points and deliver enough information for Rat3 to operate and uh, with YY Leo getting spotted uh, Rat3 might be readying a push through their spawn no one down there and Flybox and Trash might be looking to work in tandem looking to get B they do not want to go for B first but we could see a big push coming in from their spawn Chai Raider seems to be well prepared for that because I think they spotted up earlier but Mars in there is getting um, if uh, it's getting focused by Rat3 this can be big they need to get the tanks out of the way first but the hit points are in huge favor of Chai Raiders at the moment but all the M60s are on the drum reload except Misha which I think Martin is, is allowed to stay alive for slightly longer will be killed by surprise though but Rat3 is now killed they're looking to get PG and Lynx but surprise is now very low down to a one shot um, the two mediums and lights of F of Rat3 are still struggling to deal with um, B as we are seeing here Trash is now getting surrounded by Wawai Leo and also Cook. It seems Chai Raiders is, is doing a great job in supporting uh, the teammates to Trash trying to get out of this situation. The hip the capers are still with Chai Raiders though because Rat3 hasn't got a single base a uh, single base and I think it's gonna be really difficult to do so because still out in the open. Surprise is now there's now four versus five. Hippos are now in huge favor of um Chai Raiders now with Cook looking to put a great shot into fly bars now it's going to be a four versus six with lax down to a one shot will be killed by fire chai Raid is looking very strong here and they will be getting 1000 hit points oh chiapo got emorakt sad but that was not going to be changing the outcome of the ma battle much match points to chai raiders now <laughs> this is going to be emb embarrassing for thomas peterson um Chai Raiders really proving to us that they are a strong team, competent team, like Rep3 struggling so much now. Only one tank doing more than 2k, and Chai Raiders four tanks doing more than 2k, and I think Peter would be very happy to be proven right here. The M60s with three tanks unable to kill a tank out pretty much. Um, 
I think they were trying to have four tanks onto, uh, well, three tanks onto one instead of four, which I think is a good idea, but, uh, but really, I think the clip wasn't enough to kill a single tank. I think that is also the problem of taking too many, too many, um, too many M6Os. And now we are on to Hellas. Match point to Chiri is now. Can Rap3 make a comeback here? We'll find out soon. Did he ask him what will I stream tomorrow? Uh, professionals tournament. Ronin will be streaming uh, the rest of the challenges tournament. Uh, there are matches for the professionals tournament tomorrow, and they will be re they they are reward stream. So they, it is going to be a reward stream. So I'll be back following the professionals tournament. Hello, Red. How are you doing? And now Chiri is going with quadruple M6 years. Double I7 and the Crown Bargain Rap 3 going with double I7, quadruple M6 years, and a Vicus Light. 10 seconds to go. Hellas, will Chiri this bring it to a 3 0 and embarrass Thomas Peterson once again? Let's find out soon. Okay, let's head up high now. Rep free, rep rep free this time on the north spawn with Chai Raiders from the south spawn looking at Chiapu in that uh, IS7. Let's follow Chiapu for a moment, looking to get B. The Chai Raiders, I think they are so far a very aggressive team, and it seems their aggressive strats are working. New Parker in the IS7 or oh, Great Reset Shell from Coke here, but New Parker is trying to get even more aggressive with Chiapu. It seems Rep three. We need to support Chiapu because Chiapu could be taken out very quickly if Chai Raiders decides to commit their forces onto Chiapu. New Apocalypse to reset Chiapu once again, and Chiapu could not get B. But looking at where the rest of the, uh, the forces of Red 3 are, they need to come here quickly because Chiapu could get taken out very quickly here. But New Apocalypse gets focused by Red 3 now. Rap 3's forces has now rotated, but Firebus still a really long distance away from the rest of the team of Rap 3. Rap 3 needs to focus fire, but I think the, the m 6 os might have found the wrong tank because the new Parker might be low, but you're actually going out in the open, so I'm not sure if that's the right idea, but we can only we can only we can only speculate. Now Chiapu is now very low. Rap 3, they are still unable to kill off a tank, and YY Liu is now down to one shot, will be finally killed by Misha. Now it's going to be a 6 versus 6. Chai Raiders now, once again, has a strong hit point pool lead with Fast great shot into a uh, Coke here, and it's now going to be a 5 versus 6. A new Parker now very, very low hit points, um, still, hit points still with Chai Raiders with a Parker dead. Rap 3 now dead. The next tank, Chai Raiders will be going for will be surprise, and it's already 3. Versus 5, Coke is now very low, but Chai Raiders have now diverted their attention onto a Misha. And Coke is now going to be a one shot. Can Fly Bars kill off Coke? It's going to be the case, but that will be killed by Trash instead, meaning uh, Bars has to turn his turret and also rotate his tanks. Going to put a great shot into Jordan, but 2 versus 4. I think this has become quite unlikely for uh, Rap 3 to make a comeback. Chai Raiders seems to be able to win 3-0, not the other way round. And Martin Lair down to one shot, Trash also down to one shot, and it will be uh, Trash getting killed by Black Dragon leaving. Fly past the last person standing, Rap 3. I think they know that needs to make a response to uh, Chiapu. I mean, Chiapu wasn't uh, Strong, strongly focused by the time referee made the decision to um, rotate. But I think they made a wrong call to go for the tank that was low in health and hiding behind because uh, uh, and they are also hesitating whether to go for that tank or not. And I think that miscommunication right there cost them the game and Chai Raiders with better communication and it will be through to the lower bracket final. And they will be facing the loser of the, of the match of TDT versus A1M1. Who will who will take 
the champion of the Challengers tournament this season. We will find out soon. But Chai Raiders, dominant performance against Rap 3. It's very unexpected. Rap 3, not sure what's going on with Thomas Peterson here. Just really uh, not having a uh, not having a good day uh, in our office here. Three 0 and they're through to the lower bracket final. Oh wait, I think I might have it wrong. Well, let me just generate this once again. Yeah, no, no, I didn't have the phone. Yeah, yeah, it's zero three. Yeah, I didn't know. Thomas Peterson is just error four four. <laughs> I don't know how it works so poorly for Thomas Peterson this season. Um, yeah, it looks very strange. It, it is really strange. Um, no idea what happened there. No idea what happened. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, it, it is unbelievable. Uh, What's going on here? Yeah, I just can't believe. But seems far raising also suggesting some some kind of dominant scoreline for referee as well. So I don't know. Maybe we should give higher rating to the challengers tournament in the future. Maybe that's something we'll think about in the future, especially for the EU server. Like it's kind of like. Um, a lot more predictable at this stage. But let's see. Yes! Probably as well. Okay, so Rap Freeze uh, will be the first clan out tonight, uh, despite being tipped to win 3 0 two times. <laughs> I'm not sure why uh, Thomas Peterson is so biased uh, to, uh, uh, to, to, to to Rap 3, which is mind-boggling, but it is what it is. <laughs> tomorrow, we'll focus on tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll be following APA versus BPS, and then BPS versus um, Raid. Really good games ahead. As for as for other streamers, every will be full. Oh no 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 no! I will be following APA, I think, isn't it? Oh no! Well, I might need to have a word with Wargaming here. Um, it seems tomorrow I will be following um, Raid vs BPS too. Oh no no no! I, I, I'm watching Raid vs Jones. Uh, that that's uh, that's my bad. It's going to be a BPS vs APA and then BPS vs Mail. My mind just kind of shut down for a few moments. Yes, and then Endgame vs Jones will be streamed by Fujit Splits out, and Mwinet will be following Immortals vs Loka. So far, the table is looking like this uh, BPS Jones, Loka, and Endgame, three game wins, APA 2, Immortals, and Raid, one game win, and Veil with zero. Uh, I have to say, congratulations, uh, and also, I think tonight, say Rep 3, I think needs to go back to the drawing board. Um, they, they, I think. Um, I think they I think they they were hugely unprepared when it comes to the other team making a rush. It seems that the teams have figured out the weakness of Rap Three already, where they are unable to defend when they are getting rushed or when they when the other team just get aggressive and try to uh, isolate the tanks down. I think main the the main problem maybe for Rap Three could be um, the kind of the focus fire maybe I. I think that could be the problem for Rap 3. The focus fire and the communication seems to see seems to appear lapses in certain places 
Chai Radius, great communication overall tonight, and their aggressive strats really worked out so far. And if they can continue to do that, if they can polish that even more, I could also see them being a contender for the champion. I'm going to say every clan right now you're seeing will be contender for winning the entire thing. It will be very close, although A1N1 has been pretty dominant so far in challenges. You never know, the grand final is going to be held at a really late time. Fatigue is going to set in and that is going to be very important. What do we what do we by what application am I using? Card. <laughs> if you've been streaming then uh, I they're really good. I agree with DD, they're really good. I'm I think Thomas Feet is some pretty much underestimated Chai Raiders here. Um, I think also due to their their performance in the previous skill tournaments, uh, they the performance there is really um, is really eminent. I think they should have done better in previous skill, but they have done enough. But they suddenly showed their true colors in the challenges, and I think that pretty much threw Thomas Peterson off guard. So if you're talking about, um, let's go to, um, I mean here, this this uh, this thing you're seeing right here. Um, someone asked what application I was using to make the score line, I think, or is it the lives? Um, you see, like try the three nil to wrap three. Uh, very basic, very basic stuff. Just use, uh, I think, just use a test, a test GDI, I think, on uh, on Streamlabs, and then just plug it in uh, just um, connect just um, connect it with a txt file that txt file we can just edit live using a notepad or something like that and it should update man uh, it, it is updated manually uh I, I i can't be bothered to try to do that using api and i think it could go really bad so it's a lot easier to just do it manually but just you have to remember to you just have to remember to change the results um Oh, live videos, Streamlabs OBS, uh, I think this is pretty much the common software to use, either OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Um, I think there are others, but they are a lot less popular. Uh, basically just Streamlabs and OBS, OG OBS have all the things you need to set up the stream. And uh, I think Streamlabs have some more features, but if it comes, if it comes to OBS that uh, that is going to be uh, that is going to have an update. Streamlabs is going to lag slightly behind, so some streamers would prefer um, OG OBS because of this reason. And OBS is uh, OBS you can use plugins freely, while Streamlabs it's a lot harder to use plugins. So if some streamers have a lot of plugins in their on their stream, then they might want to use o OG OBS instead of Streamlabs. And Streamlabs is also quite demanding you know, in terms of your processors and so on it taxes a lot of your cpu so if their computer is a bit, a bit potato then they, they might want to use og obs as well um finality uh rep rep 3 should have been more patient no i don't think i don't think it can be patient it's pretty much chai raiders chai raiders be the initiative and i think the first uh, in, in the first and the third match we are seeing tonight. The second match, I don't think Rap3 is impatient. They have to make a move. They don't have the, ca uh, the cap lead. Um, so they must kill tanks. They must make a move to get back a cap lead. I think Rap3 um, was, wasn't able to kill that M60, which is really not their fault. It's pretty much what Eri was saying um, in his dreams that, uh, that he found M60 really overrated. And one of the main reasons is because uh, 
uh, you basically need four M60 to take out one single tank. Uh, that is too many tanks, and um, and that's why some teams are now taking a combination of 50B and M60, uh, so that uh, a tank can be taken out without using four clippers. Great. Uh, or a Rankaton. That's not the EU server. That's the EU server. Yes, tomorrow you will have four streams, no, five streams open at the same time because I'll be streaming, Aerie will be streaming, Fujis will be streaming, Eminet will be streaming, Rolling will be streaming, and he will be following the challenges. So lots of streamers tomorrow, and I believe we are not going to be getting a lot of views tomorrow. Um, but let's hope we're going to get some amazing games tomorrow. But I think focus should be on Rolling Swarm's stream tomorrow as it will be the last last day of the challenges so if all our games of professional student have finished tomorrow then jump right ahead a uh, jump right over to rolling swarms channel um and watch his stream and his coverage on uh on, on for the challenges it will last for a really long time it will be a very long stream it will last for three hours i believe uh other than that has been me while was helper uh, it's been a pleasure to be streaming uh, Challenges tournament, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now, everyone.